So I'm wearing a I love Korea shirt and uh Let's talk about anime. No, I'm very sorry if there's like a noises because uh there's a lot of kids outside. And also uh we I wanna talk about why 2020 is saved. Now uh, I watched these animes like when they first released and I know at the time of this recording there's like a ReZero episode 2 already so I haven't watched it I'm just I'm waiting to get my juicy hands on it but I want to do this video first so let's talk about it now what are the animes that so-called save 2020 uh, there's actually four of them but we're gonna go with them one by one so let's go for the first one uh, the first one is ReZero second season so the first five minutes of the first episode is just a mind blow thing because uh, first of all, who's room? So I'm not really updated to the light novel. I'm not really that fixated to light novel ad adaptations as well, except for like uh, Re Zero and uh, Oriyaru. And so this one is uh, I don't know what's coming. So when I heard Emilia say. <laughs> I I kind of lost my mind there because like, boy, are we doing this again? Now before all that, uh, who's and those juicy stuff, uh, we got introduced again like a kind of a recap on uh, what happened in the last episode of the first season, and there's some kind of a uh, Petra and uh, Subaru moment. Petra, go back to Attack on Titan, goddammit. And now during the five minutes, this is where they uh. The, the mental breakdown happens, uh, it's because Rem got, got into a fight and uh, lost her memories and her name and she's unconscious and Subaru had a mental breakdown which he thought uh, he could save Rem if he just uh, died again but when he said he's gonna fight Petalgis again when he dies I'm just like no no please please don't die but please don't don't make Rem sleep forever but like when Subaru has I was having that mental breakdown. I was, I was having a mental breakdown as well. Seriously, when he said uh, he's gonna fight Petalgis again, and I was like, what's the point of season one then? Because, you know, when Super is having a mental breakdown, it kind of really felt realistic because when you realize he's gonna get to repeat everything again just to save Rem, and when, by the way, he said he's going, he's willing to repeat all those again just to save her. I, I love it. But by the way, I'm Team Amelia. It's kind of like very rare for someone to say they're Team Amelia, but uh, honestly, I love Team. Uh, I'm like, I love Amelia because uh, Takahashi Rie voicing her. So now seeing Rem disappear probably because she's unconscious for the rest of the season. I'm not sure. Uh, all those six years of wait, I'm not really sure. But that that six years, I'm just quoting quoting it. But I am very hyped because I have never been this hyped from a light novel except for Origaidu. And I know, I just know there's gonna be memes again because Subaru equals memes. And we're back at it again with the waifu wars. Also, uh, that one moment, um, I thought I was having a Yuri action between Felis and Krush, but uh, I forgot Felis is a boy, so <laughs> I'm, I'm disappointed, but I'm okay, okay. Also, they ended the first episode with Subaru and Emilia's conversation. I, I thought at first that Subaru's actually gonna try to kill himself again. But uh, the ending of the first episode, really good. Now the next anime is Uzaki-chan wa Asobitai. Now uh, I, I actually shouted when I first started it because when I was looking through the list and what to watch this season, I think it got delayed. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out uh, in the earlier seasons, but it got delayed. And I, you know, I've never seen the original source, but I've been feeling like there's gonna be something like uh, Karakai Jozu no Takagi-san and which is uh, I've never seen Nagatora-san, but I was actually very excited when it, uh, they had an anime adaptation, which is I forgot when they will release it. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. But okay, we're talking about Uzaki-chan. I'm kind of surprised they started it with like a time skip already, and it's very rare uh, that they started it not at high school, not at middle school, not not not, not at elementary, but. They studied it at college, which is very interesting because we all know high school anime and we all know there's gonna be memes. Obviously, there's gonna be memes, especially of that uh, Sugoi Dekai t-shirt, which means amazingly huge. 
And also, it's interesting because it's a senpai and kohai uh, combination, not like the classmate kind of thing, which is not that much of a difference, but I like it. Uh, also, uh, the guy MC, I actually like it, but I actually like the guy MC, but Uzaki-chan, uh, I don't really know. I don't feel like he's in the same level as Takagi-san because you just can't help but uh, like compare the two, but really, I, the voice acting, I'm not really a fan, but I can bear with it. Uh, also, the design, I'm not sure if it, I'm really a fan of it, but when I saw like a... Uh, they're showing like flashbacks on where uh, Uzaki looks like a cold-blooded uh, tsundere, we all know. And I'm actually very intrigued to her character. And but talking about the first episode, there's a lot of there's a lot of scenes that I need to, especially that uh, VR scene and the massaging massaging chair scene. But nonetheless, I laughed at it, so it's a good anime. Next up is Kanojo Okarishimas or uh, Rent a Girlfriend, which is. I'm looking forward to it to the next uh, episode because uh, I actually saw the series first and I haven't seen the manga but uh, I got introduced to it because of the video Paulo from Tokyo made which is a day in the life of a mangaka and uh, in the video the mangaka was the one who made Red a Girlfriend so if you want to watch it I'm gonna leave it in the description so uh, when I first saw it like mm, this is a very interesting idea and uh, actually I know there's gonna be wife wars because I haven't seen the manga but I have seen the memes for sure I have seen the memes also I really like the comedy in the series because in the first 20 episodes he's like I have a girlfriend I have a girlfriend I don't like you anymore let's break up but then again the characters are very interesting especially Mizuhara Chizuru uh, I forgot the name but if that's right, uh, I'm really excited for it, but then again, it's like Uzaki-chan, it's college, which is refreshing. But then, there's so many scenes, I need to turn off the goddamn volume. But nonetheless, I'm super excited for the next episode, which is like Saturday or Sunday. It's gonna release, so maybe tomorrow or uh, the day after that, but the first episode was very good. Good job. Now, the last, the last of it all is... Oregairu or Yahari Orinoseishin Rabukomo wa machigatte iru. Nailed it. That was first try. I'm not kidding. That was first try. So, uh, it's Oregairu last season. So, I know for a fact that I will legitimately cry when this ends because though there are times like they're talking and I'm like, what are they talking about? Like, I don't understand. But I'm just pretending to understand it. But when I. But there are times that. I really feel the characters, which is why I really like it, even though it's from a light novel. Uh, really, I actually uh, miss all of them, like especially Yukino, <laughs> waifu. Because I heard that Yukino, oh wait no, spoiler alert, I, I heard that Yukino won, and I'm not really sure, I'm not, I'm not sure if Yuigahama won, but I sure hope Yukino won because <coughs> waifu and fun fact i actually just restart this started the series like two or three months ago and i'm glad that i started it then because i wouldn't have to wait for like so many years for having the last season but honestly it's a very high dialogue heavy anime so i'm not sure if it's for everyone but if you like those uh very like uh that analyzes stuff like feelings and stuff i think you guys might like it and actually, I think that the harem in the series is unexpectedly good because when I started it, I actually thought it's gonna be like a comedy. I didn't know it was gonna be harem, but in that series, harem isn't really like the most like the focus of it. But I guess it kind of is. But if you focus on the harem, it's not like those uh, crappy guilty pressure guilty pleasure harems because. It's actually, there's depth to the characters, and the main character isn't as bad as what everyone thinks. So, yeah, I really think that the unexpected good harem in the series will make people like it. And also that Komachi and Hachiman scene where uh, Hachiman cried, because we used to know that Hachiman is a very pessimistic person that doesn't show that much emotions besides being pessimistic. So when he cried, like two times in the show because of the first one, and the Komachi scene, I really like started to feel like I'm really gonna cry at the end of the series. So, so like, uh, actually, we, we were actually introduced to like another harem candidate, but we all know it's either uh, Yukino or Yurigahama. So, 
be, you know, there's like a a bigger harem of it because the the, the blue haired girl, uh, I don't know, I forgot the name, and then the sensei. I was actually rooting for sensei. I, li I actually like the sensei in uh, Hachiman, especially when that one time I said, uh, if I was 10 years uh, older, I will marry you. So after watching the uh, the first episode of the last season, I absolutely think it's gonna be one of the best anime of the year. So yeah, it's a really good episode, nonetheless. So I ha I hope everyone watches watches it after this video. Now that the, uh, those four great animes have released this uh, this season, uh, imagine we have a uh, Kaguya-sama, Gleipnir, Kakushigoto. Uh, what else? What, what else do we have? We have Major Second as well. I, that people are sleeping in Major Second. It's a really good one. So uh, imagine if the delayed uh, the delayed anime got released in this year. Imagine how good uh, the anime uh, the anime industry starts off a decade if Attack on Titan didn't get uh, delayed and Promise Neverland and uh, Doctor Stone. I don't. Know, I'm not sure if it got delayed, but if those didn't get delayed, like literally 2020 will be the best. Uh, best anime year so uh, I really think that 2020 is uh, saved and we, ha we have so many more to look forward to uh, in January 2021 so I guess that's all for it for today's video and, uh, and the next video will be released uh, uh, early so uh, subscribe for more uh, trash content Matane. if you find the one you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity